Okie dokie. Um, right now we're going to set up the, the back panel and I'm actually building my own. So, um, I'm going to drill all the holes. Uh, a lot of the, a couple of the case manufacturers don't, um, have the correct holes on them for the Hammond series stuff. So, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, do all the lame ass hole drilling, which is actually easy because it's all, it's all, you can do it all with the drill except the, the IEC socket. You'll have to do that yourself. Um, these are a little bit bigger holes. And so that's kind of a pain in the ass. I'll have this template uh, uploaded and you guys could use it and, um, hopefully pass it on to some of the case designers to get this shit right instead of buying a case and having to do all the metal work which is completely stupid so uh so the hammond series con consists of the uh two of the 167 s6 and these are the 10 amp 6.3 transformers for left and right uh 16 7 l24 and this is the 24 volt transformer for the bias these are all usa so um that's we'll get to the solders on another day this is the 167 l12 and this is the 12 volt transformer next next up we're gonna have the big ass uh 174 b 274bx and uh, this this works pretty well it, it warms up with the project um, but it's with intolerance and then you have a Hammond 193j and uh, once again Hammond makes some great transformers it's it's kind of like Ford truck they're reliable they just do what they're supposed to do and they ain't too fancy about it so um you want a Porsche go talk to Souter but get your wallet out um, he makes some of the best transformers in the world so um, but that's up to your budget so uh, what you got here is the Hammond 193 J it's a 10 Henry 200 milliamp uh, reactor choke um, this will be for the high voltage depending on once again the case because uh, I for this design, I mount that here, and uh, here we have the the Hammond 274BX. Uh, you have your all the color coatings on the box, and uh, I'll, I'll there should be a document up soon, kind of just specifically for this one. So. Uh, yellow is 5 volts for the uh, 5AR4 rectifier and uh, green is the heater. Green yellow is the center tap which you will isolate and not use. These are for the AC primary of, of the power transformer. These go to the AC mains and the power switch. White is neutral and so that will go to neutral no matter what. Now you have a choice between uh, black and gray. Uh, if, your how, if your studio or house outlet is putting out 125 volts, you'll use the black. You will isolate this. Uh, the gray will be live, so if you just leave it dangling, it'll just blow the fuse or shock the hell out of you. So um, usually, Connecting it to a, a spade connector and all locking it into a barrier, an isolated barrier strip, will is the best and most secure way to do this. So, um, so that's that. Black yellow is the center tap of the five volt. Same color, makes sense. You will not use this. Uh, it will be isolated to a barrier strip by itself, and you will not use it. The red, the two reds are the high voltage. Uh, these carry the 750 VAC to the rectifier tube. The red yellow is the is the high voltage center tap. This will go to the board marked HVCT. So that that breaks that down. There should be no uh, 
no misconceptions about that. Anyways, so on this, I'm going to place this right here. So now we're going to get to the six volt transformers, the 176 S6. And these, you'll be using two for the heater. What's great about Hammond is all the color codes are always the same. And if not, they note, they note it in the, in their, uh, documentation black black is AC mains this will go uh, th they don't they do not indicate a pl uh, which is the high uh, lead of the winding on the schematic diagram so either on all of on all of the transformers the small transformers you will not ground the center tap so on each on on this particular transformer, you, green green is 6.3 VAC. This will go to the PCB. Green yellow is the center tap. You will not ground this. If you do, it'll blow the rectifiers, uh, the diodes of that section, and maybe some other stuff. So this will be isolated. You can use the PCB spot mark that says CT, that is isolated and that just holds this. Otherwise, spade connector and isolated on a barrier strip. And that's, that's that. So these are, these are actually really simple. Uh, same thing goes for this other 167. Let's get to the 24 volt transformer, which is the 167 L24. If in, if in doubt, here's the and provides a nice little diagram. Black, black is primary, green, green, secondary, green, yellow is center tap. So you can always reference this. And this is, this goes for the entire 160, this goes to, for the entire 167 series. So you can just paste that to your head and um, okay so next is a 167 L12 this is the 12 volt transformer and this one is a little Wii transformer what's nice is the package of these looks very vintage so I like the case of these instead of using the little ugly um, filament transformers that are real shiny so uh, that's kind of that's kind of one of the nice features uh, of of the Hammond transformers is that they do look very classic so I do use them and um, uh, you can also take off what I always do is take off the label and put it on the inside of the case so if it needs to be serviced they'll know what it is um, otherwise I usually don't like the look of these big ass labels on the back and also that it says it's fucking Hammond so um so that's what I do on on the 12 volt transformer as with all of them black is the primary um, green yellow center tap green green 12 volts so there's there's that and once so you can do put that there I already have this uh, diagram laid out for this these sizes so it just makes a drill template a hell of a lot easier and um, that's that's kind of the that's the nice thing of not having to uh, if, if some of the case designers would get this shit right I mean they could have each researched what the footprints are and just made their cases according to that instead uh, it seems to be a in fact, I, I just drill my own back panel since it's such a pain in the ass to drill through the hardened, the the, the cold rolled steel that they use for their cases. So, um, drilling through aluminum is a, this is only going to take me about 15 minutes to to hack out. And and I'm also using the bud enclosure. Uh, I'll use a front panel from Collective Cases. I really like the look, but it it is a lot of custom. It, it is a lot of work for me to. Uh, get that front panel to work with the bud enclosure. So I'll kind of guide you. I'll show you what I do. I don't really recommend it. It's a total pain in the ass. 
So here is the 167L24. This is the bias transformer. Same all um, with as with all Hammonds. Black black is primary. Green green is the 24 volts. Green yellow is the center tap. Spade connector, isolate. Okay, here's the the solder output. Uh, the, the solder outputs are, these are, I'm sure there are some alternatives. I've seen a lot of uh, people using the Hammonds. I haven't tried it myself. Uh, so, for, so for right now, I'm just gonna save myself some headaches and um, just go with the solder, which these are awesome. And so we'll have two of those here. This is this is the other 6.3 transformer for the right right channel. Uh, same same thing. Black primary, black black primary, green green 6.3, green yellow is center tap. Isolate, and that goes here. So all in all, you're going to have about uh, 60 pounds of iron and steel on the back of your case. So that's why I use the the bud. I love the bud. Uh, in enclosures because their their internal chassis and back back panel are thick ass aluminum and they just the whole thing is really solid there is no wiggle um, I've shipped these across the globe and they've arrived in one piece with no bends so um, hopefully someone will make a case like this in the future uh, the IEC socket like this one has the fuse drawer here and a spot for an extra fuse. So this will go mounting. I'm gonna do a whole, take a good minute to tell you how to wire this properly without, without being, I mean, I've seen people just do some really dickish things with just a little wire going to ground and, or lifting the ground because, it had, because of noise, which uh, don't ever do that. So um, I'll, I'll have a good, I'll have a video on this, this wiring this up properly. And that's that. This, I don't have an IEC punch, so that doing this custom by uh, doing this myself, uh, this sucks, but I, I use a jeweler saw to cut through this and it just takes a second. So that goes there, that goes there. And then you can use the, For this, I'm using the PCB mount sockets because I, I have I want to test something out. But um, otherwise, you can just get the solder lug ones, and that works that works out just fine. Um, so that's so that's that. So so all in all, and then you'll need a handful of barrier strips for the inside that will be bolted to the case. So I'll I'll, I'll do that. I'll get to that part after I drill all this and, and set it up. But um, so right now I just want to show you basically the, the back panel layout of what this what this thing's gonna look like. And this is the hardest part of the build. I've, I've tried to get, get around this and besides going switching, uh, making switching power supply, which I, I just, I can't bring myself to do. So it's, <laughs> it's kind of funny because a switching a switching power supply uh, would just be would make this project only about fifteen pounds twenty you know twenty pounds maybe and but so so wiring all this shit up is is kind of it's this is the between the front panel uh, the back panel and the front panel are the more pain in the assy parts but you you can't avoid it because that's this is just sticking to the original design. Once I get these drilled to the case, I'm gonna flip this over and then we'll get to the meat of how to wire it. So I just wanted to show you what you are going to be using and um, how placement is. Um, I don't have one of the DIY racked cases or the collective cases here, so I, I can't really show you the stuff, the things you, it's basically, this, it's going to be the same procedure. So uh, we'll just stop this now and then we'll, get to drilling and I'll, 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 re, I'll record the drilling process just to show you if you want to just hack at it yourself. It's not, doesn't require really a lot of tools. So, all right, that's, that's the end of this.